All right, this is the tutorial that you guys have been asking for on how to do the marble head on the jig. So those are coming in clear. There you go. So these are. This is going to be kind of show you what to do or create some something like this. So. So this is what you have to do. First, you have to get some nail polish stood from your wife. Um, or if she doesn't have any, you need to get something that's going to be able to float on top of water. You're going to have to go to your nearest Sally's or something like that. And this is something I found that was online. Color Club that was used that showed that it it uh it floated. When you go to salad, just say, look, you're looking for uh, nail polish that can float. So you want to go in there. This is kind of just one of the examples. There are many other other ones out there, so you don't have to necessarily get this one. Just ask them at salads and just say, you know, you're doing a marble paint job for a project, and they will get you some. All right. So some of these I did buy. Some of these my wife already had. So there you have it. All right, next thing that you're going to need is some water. Water has to be room temperature. It can't be cold like out the refrigerator or anything like that or hot. It will affect the temperature of the, uh, of the nail polish. Next, you're going to have some toothpicks. You're going to need these in order. You'll see what you need, what you need them for. And a napkin. You need a napkin. That's fine. And some good lighting. All right. I have this little rod here that's for you'll see when I have it set on top of here to hold my, my jigs up so, just so I can do more than just one. Alright. So I'm gonna set this thing up and get it started. So Alright, so once you get your water in there and get it to the, get it distilled or have distilled water, then you're ready to go. Alright, so you have to pick out some kind of color pattern that you want to use. So let's just say I'm going to use this color here, which is like a fluorescent green color. i use this color here, like a blue color. And make sure you shake them before you use them because you're going to have to make sure that it gets mixed up pretty good. You can tell when you pick it up if it has like a little oily little substance on top of it like this one here kind of has you can tell that this has got to be mixed up so you just mix them up so they're really good ready to go have this clear you're going to see what I, what I, I do with the clear which is it's just pretty nice it allows the color to, to show through through the bottom all right I found the best way for this to work is with jig heads that are white. I did a chrome jig head. I've done a chartreuse. And I've done one that was a pink. But for some reason, the white gets the color to stand out a whole lot more, a whole lot better than the others. All right. Sorry, it's my first time doing a video, y'all, so you have to bear with me. All right. So now you're ready to go. So let's just say I want to use the color that I've done before. So I want to use these two. This one along with a clear. All right. So make sure you got your jig head that's white. It's sitting off to the side ready to go make sure that you cure them first as well okay so you want to cure them first before you do this all right so we're going to go ahead and get started you're going to have to work kind of fast so just be be ready what i normally do is kind of have them sitting on the table ready to go just so i don't have to unscrew them 
when it's time. Alright. So, they're ready to go. So, let's go and get started. I'm going to take a clear and get a good drop. And that's going to put that and it's going to go on top of the water. All right, you don't want to get too high because it will sink to the bottom, but if you get it just right, it'll float. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, that's an example of me taking too long. And so the clear on top has dried, and that's fine. All right, so once again, you have to work fast. Not going to turn out great at first, but you'll see what the color is going to end up looking like. So let's just start with the blue. As you see, it disperses against the top of the water. That one did the same thing. That one's better to see. Let's come through with the blue again. Get in the center. Come on, drop. All right. All right, got that one to get on there. I say it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to because it's you're going to kind of mess it up anyway. So put that one in there. Give it the background and the noise. It's my wife. Come on. Let's just do one more on there just for safekeepings. All right, so now we're good to go. What you're going to do is you're going to start in the center here. I just kind of pull this away. I'm going to pull it until you see that it gets tight, like that. All right, you're going to have some little paint on the tip there. Just use your napkin and kind of wipe some of that off. So then, this is where you just kind of make some kind of design for yourself. Whatever you like. So the paint's still staying on top. All right. Then you can come in and do something like this. On this side, do something like that. We just keep on making kind of little swirl marks. Some of the videos you see that they give a pattern and stuff like that, but those are the ones that get real good at it. And I haven't got to get that good at it, so. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and dip our jigs in. All right, so this is where this bar comes in place. I generally dip in and make sure I get that in there because it's going to dry. You don't want to pull it back through. If you do, it's going to mess up. You're going to get paint on it that you don't want. Come in there. We got that. And this is just an example. So once you get them the way you want and get them in there, you come in here, you can kind of clean it off. It's going to just come off. It's like that. All right. 
want to make sure you get all of it off so, so there may be some little straggly ones on there you just got to really look hard in order to see it see there so there's more get all that off so I'm gonna say use a q-tip which you can I just somewhat got a little lazy didn't want to go and get one all right so everything's free from underneath it and everything's ready to go so looks like everything's off like I said you can do more it's just I'm just showing you all how to do this so now you're ready to take it out you take it out don't touch it because it is still wet but there you have it Let's see if we can get that to zoom in for it kind of hard to see so let me go ahead and get my hemostats so I can grab this thing a little better there we go oh it didn't work hemostats aren't that great so so as we see There you have it. That's that side. Ah, hang on. I have to take pictures because it's my first time doing a video, so it ain't like I've done it. I do this all the time. So that's how one of them looks. All right, show you another how the other two came out. It's like every time you do one, they're going to be different. So that one's like that. Next side's like that. That one's like that. Alright, so pretty much that's kind of it, and then once you get it to this point, then you just go ahead and, and uh, let that dry, um, spray it with a little clear, something like that, and you're basically done. Let me put these on.
Alright, so. So there you have it. Got those that are already done. Got the marble on it. Turn it around. Like I said, that's just water. That water will come off. Or dry off. Once it's dry, you can try to get some of that water off. You can try to get some off anyway. Well, it's just water, so go in there and Like I said, once it fully dries, you're going to be pretty good. It'll be just fine. I'll have to post some pictures of what they kind of really look like at the very end. But the thing about it is you just kind of get creative and do what you want with your, with your swirls. And no jig is going to look exactly the same. So that's what's pretty cool about it is that you can just kind of. Come up with different things. All right. If you have any questions or want to see anything else, along with some other ones that I've done, like these here, it's just using those same colors that I've, I showed you up here earlier. Just use these whatever colors and come up with whatever you want. Whatever kind of color design you want to come up with. So, I'll show them again. Like I said, this is my first time doing something like this, so I hope I can edit a lot of this stuff out. All right. That's it. All right.